I have threaded up my typical applique needle, which is a number 11 tulip applique needle. And I'm using a 50 weight two ply cotton thread from Superior. This is the thread that comes off the bobbin. And I'm using that weight because I don't want to use something thicker and I don't want to use something finer. And you happen to catch me when it messes up right there. And the way that pulled, I, I have considered putting pins in the batting to keep that from moving. And I decided against it because I don't want the thread to hang up on the pins. I might change my mind before I go too far. It would be nice to run the basting stitches farther apart to have fewer stitches. But I think that's probably not a good idea because if I run them too far apart, the batting won't be held neatly in place. And this is not a batting that I can leave unquilted. I'm going to have to quilt this. At, my plan is to quilt it at the same density as the rest of the quilting in the quilt. So we'll see. All right. So I'll finish this. It's going to take a little bit and I'll get back to you. I'm back with you and I've finished basting the edges of the batting to the opening. And now I am basting about a quarter of an inch away from the opening through the quilt and that backing fabric to hold Ha! All right, so I flipped it over. I trimmed away the excess fabric, leaving about a half an inch. And I was just testing this to see, and yes, I am going to be able to finger press under an edge. And I think I'm going to baste it in place too. I could hand applique it right now, but what I'd like to do is get this nailed and then turn the quilt back over and get the fabric that I'm going to put on the front also taken care of. I could pin these edges, but I think they're going to get in my way with pins. So I'm just going to do a quick basting and then I'll be back. And then I'll come back and tell you what I decide to do from there because I'm not entirely sure. I'll be back. All right, so I flipped it over. I trimmed away the excess fabric, leaving about a half an inch, and I was just testing this to see, and yes, I am going to be able to finger press under an edge, and I think I'm going to baste it in place too. I could hand applique it right now, but what I'd like to do is get this nailed and then turn the quilt back over and get the fabric that I'm going to put on the front also taken care of. I could pin these edges, but I think they're going to get in my way with pins. So I'm just going to do a quick basting and then I'll be back. That unusually shaped patch, well, it sticks out. It's a slightly different color and it's, um, it's kind of a weird shape. But you know what? It's masking where the puppies ate the quilt. So yeah, there's a story there that goes with the shape of the hole. I'm good with that. I hope Lorna is too. All right, now I've got to flip it over 
and get the fabric that will be on the front attached.